Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 24th. So we're just going to see what comes up. What do we have for around the 24th? Queen of Coins, Queen of Pentacles. This is about stability, holding on to your money, uh, holding on to your status, saving. Uh, looks like somebody here is very abundant. They have a lot to offer. They know they have a lot to offer. It looks like they need to hold on to their money or hold on to something. Um, be practical, be realistic. It is definitely a time of growth. It is a time of rebirth. Um, to be grounded, really be grounded and be realistic here. Um, I really want to say hold on to your money. Um, there is a golden opportunity in this person's hands. There's an opportunity for growth. There's an opportunity for stability and security, but it will require being practical and reasonable and grounded. Don't uh, lose your ground, you know. Uh, hold on to your money, whatever that means. Um, Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is perseverance. Look how far you've come. Somebody has been struggling. They have been struggling. Um, be on the lookout. Be on the lookout. You know, I feel like there's challenges here. Somebody is dealing with some challenges. They need to hold on. They need to wait. Be patient. The Queen of Pentacles is very patient, very... Uh, doesn't move very fast, very slow going. Take your time. Definitely facing life challenges. So somebody, ha and this is in the past, somebody's been facing a lot of life challenges, but they've come so far. Somebody may be growing weary, you know, waiting for money or waiting for stability. It's coming, but it will require you to be grounded and slow down, slow down. Somebody's hard work is going to pay off. It's paying off. You're going to get what you deserve. You're going to get the payout that you've been waiting for. Don't give up. And, you, and somebody may be at the point where they're like, why am I doing this? It's coming. Stability, security. Ten of Wands reverse. Now that is letting go. It's letting go of something. It's making a conscious change. So somebody is going to be making a conscious change and they're going to, they're headed towards balance. This is letting go of things you don't need. If you don't need it, don't, don't buy it. Okay. This is dropping weight, dropping burden, burdens, dropping baggage, uh, letting go of responsibilities, perhaps. This is making a conscious change. So we have somebody here that needs to ground themselves and they have to be willing to change. I feel like it has to do with spending for some reason. Now the Ten of Wands reversed is, is letting go. Letting go of worries. Somebody's been extremely overwhelmed. They have, things are going to get better. And, the, and we know that things are going to get better. Things are definitely starting to get better. They are going to get better. This is a chariot reversed. Now this is things coming to a stop. It may have something to do with a car. Okay, so there could be, I'm not sure if there's some car issues that are coming up. There could be. But this is things coming to a halt, coming to a stop, something coming to a stop. Things are going to come to a stop.
happiness, happiness, spiritual blessing. Somebody is going to be blessed with a lot of happiness. We also have somebody here that maybe somebody in the past doesn't have to be. We could have somebody here that is facing a lot of challenges. This person may have given up or they may be in defense mode or they're growing weary. Somebody is growing weary about a relationship or about happiness. They may have been let go. Now, the Queen of Pentacles or the Queen of Coins is somebody that knows their value. This is, this is the Queen of Value. So we have a very valuable individual here who has a lot to offer. It looks like there's somebody behind this person that is, maybe they're seeing a release, they're seeing a drop, drop of some sort, because maybe somebody's dropping weight, or they're, or they're being dropped, you know, they're being let go, and they're angry, because this could be an angry outburst, so somebody may be seeing that they're being let go by somebody that knows their value, this does have to do with happiness, it has to do with a relationship of some sort, now this, the Ten of Cups can be a permanent love. This is the storm is over. It is. And that is, the, the Ace of Pentacles is the is manifestation. So we have somebody here that has manifested an opportunity. They have. The opportunity is coming. An opportunity for happiness is coming. A lot of happiness. This is, this is it. This is extreme happiness. But there's... This is like, you know, and I feel like this person that knows their value has just about given up. And I feel like they have somebody in the past that may have challenged them in a big way. But this is letting go. It is letting go, dropping baggage, dropping weight. Happiness is here. It is, it is right here. Seven of coins and the seven of coins is investment, waiting. Somebody has been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, waiting for a reward, waiting for uh, the benefits of their hard work. Okay, the heart, the benefit is coming. Okay, and it may ha may have something to do with relocation because the seven of pentacles is definitely a card of relocation. Somebody may have been investing in something that has been over for quite some time, you know, waiting for it to grow, waiting for somebody to take action, but whoever they were dealing with is uh, overwhelmed with their own life and facing a lot of life challenges and maybe hasn't made any move. This person could be, um, you know, focused on themselves, really, really focused on themselves and just really challenged at being in a relationship. But I do feel like there is, somebody's about to reap some rewards for their hard work, okay? They're about to, this is like hard work paying off. So there is going to be a reward that is coming, but I feel like it comes after relocation. You notice this guy is getting ready to, you know, Start over, you know, this it's over. This season. This season is over. You notice the hoe. That's hoeing it out, you know, going to plant seeds someplace else. It's gonna it's time for a new season. It's time to start over. This it's over. This season is over. It is. So I do believe that somebody has gotten all that they are going to get out of a relationship, you know, with an individual that is you know, defensive and uh, is unwilling to really open up. It, it feels like they've reached the end. You think about the nine, then to the ten, and I don't care what the suit is, you know, or the, uh, you know, I feel like they've reached the end. I think we have a relationship that has come to an end where it has been extremely challenging, okay? And somebody is about to re re reap some rewards for the hard work that they put in in dropping the baggage. This is a 10 as well, which is a completion. This is dropping the baggage. This is like, I'm going to stop going in that direction. I'm dropping this and I'm going to invest someplace else. So there is a new investment that is coming. 
It is. And it is going to pay off and it's going to make somebody extremely happy. Okay, so there is happiness that is coming. We also have an individual here. Well, it's the same, you know, it feels like it's the same person. We have definitely have two people here. This person is seeing an opportunity for a relationship, for a happiness with somebody that is stable, solid, and secure. Hmm. But there's been a delay. There's been some sort of delay because this person's been hemming and hawing. They've been hemming and hawing about being in a relationship or, you know, making a move or whatever. Maybe they didn't want the responsibility of a relationship. I feel like we also have somebody that, you know, didn't nurture something when they should have. They didn't take care of it well enough. Maybe they had too many responsibilities. They were too busy. You know, they didn't uh, deal with opposition very well. They may have had emotional outbursts that got in the way of success. They may have lacked discipline or self-control or something like that. And now it's like whatever they invested in hasn't grown. It's time to go someplace else. So somebody is going to be investing someplace else. They're going to stop investing in something that is a dead end. This season is over. And they definitely see an opportunity for happiness with an individual that has a lot to offer. Um, but it's going to, this is a challenge. There is it because a nine of wands is a challenge. Whoever they are up against um, is very down to earth, is very devoted, is very nurturing, and is stable, you know, and may not be looking for a relationship. This is somebody who um, may have, you know, may have their guard up may have a barrier up around them, you know. This person may have uh, put some sort of barrier up, not letting anybody in because this is like a barrier because of the past challenges in a relationship. Seven of Cups, options, choices. So we have somebody here that is definitely exploring their options they are, and they are making a conscious change right now. And they are thinking long and hard about what they want to invest in. Multiple options. And we may have somebody here that is uh, aware that whoever they are dealing with has multiple options. Somebody has multiple options here. So yeah, I feel like we, we have an individual that is going to be presented with a new option. They are. King of Cups. Somebody's looking for love. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be anybody, but it's somebody that is... In their feelings, they're feeling some emotion, they're feeling their gut is telling them something. Uh, this is somebody that is definitely looking for love, that has good intentions. I feel like there's going to be a, maybe there could be some flirting that is going on. There's some sort of communication that is coming with a person that is emotionally available. Definitely looking, looking for love. Very charming, very romantic. This person has a very big heart. So there is, there is love that is coming. Something that is going to be very emotionally fulfilling. But there's been some sort of delay in this coming because somebody has been investing in a dead end. And when you invest in a dead end, you tell the universe that you don't know what you want, that you're confused. They've been in a state of confusion. So I feel like this season is over and there's another option here that has been thought about. This person is getting ready, ready to wipe out the... I don't know, maybe it's a dead weight? Because this is like it's dead and this is weight, dead weight. Um, whatever's been holding them down, whatever's been weighing them down, they're about ready to let it go. They're ready 
They're ready for stability and security and to be taken care of. The queen of the queen of coins is very nurturing. So we definitely have, I feel like we have a very masculine energy here that has a lot of feminine as well. So this is like an even keel. It's masculine and feminine energy. It is. That hasn't been able to uh, find their discipline to let go of something that is dead. But now they're going to be in their feelings. They're going to be in their feelings. They're, gonna, they're in their emotions about what they want. And they see an opportunity for love. I mean, this person has a huge opportunity for love. And I feel like they're going to jump on it. And I feel like their feelings are going to be out of control. You can't control these feelings. The feelings are overwhelming. So, you know, it's like it is. It's like an overwhelming feeling of, I don't know, it feels like love or, you know. It's overwhelming. It's out of control. Can't control the feelings. Can't fight this feeling. Somebody's been hiding behind a mask with that chariot reverse, refusing to deal with opposition, refusing to accept challenges. But I feel like this person's now, they're ready. They're ready for this challenge. They're ready to start over. So yeah, there's going to be a new start here. Strength, strength, courage, confidence, willpower. Somebody is definitely finding their strength and their courage. They're going to be mastering their emotions after they haven't been able to. Because this is unable to and this is. So somebody has been finding their ability to master their emotions and follow their heart. This is about falling in love. It's about doing what your heart wants. Wish fulfillment. And I don't need the wish fulfillment. But your heart is your biggest wish. This is somebody that is going to be facing their fears after they have not been able to. And they are looking at a person that is extremely beautiful to them. That is graceful and gentle and kind. So I do believe that there is another option that is going to be presented. Somebody is going to be looking at another option very, very, very soon. And it could lead to permanent love. It could lead to extreme happiness. Somebody's going to be expressing their feelings. They're going to find the courage to do so. And somebody's going to have to find their strength and their courage to face their fears. And let love in. Because this is a very viable option. It is. That could grow into happiness. There could also be an exchange of money. <laughs> because that Queen of Pentacles, she looks like she's holding on tight. Holding on to her money. There could be an exchange. You know, I'm not sure if she's purchasing something or whatnot. Whatever it is, this person has something of value to offer. I feel like I feel like we have a person that like sees somebody it's like they just see this person you know sitting there waiting waiting and waiting and waiting this person is waiting I don't know if they're in a, if they're, what they're waiting for but they're waiting for something and they're intrigued they're intrigued Eight of Wands, a message is coming. There's going to be messaging. It could be talking. Uh, this is triumphant news arriving, you know. 
uh, things happening fast. This is also the rods of love. So somebody's going to be receiving a message or they're going to be communicating with, you know, I feel like it's, it's a new opportunity, okay? It's a golden opportunity. It's uh, unexpected, okay? Somebody's going to be communicating. They're going to be running into somebody um, that is emotionally available or somebody that is really been thinking about what their heart wants is going to be communicating. You know, they, they see an option, they see a good option, and they have been thinking about it for quite some time. They've been thinking about the, about the dead end. They've been focusing on the dead end. They've been watering a, a dead tree, right? They, that's what they've been doing. But now they're going to stop watering that dead tree, okay? They are, and they're going to go someplace else because they see something very attractive to them. And they're going to move in that direction. And I think things are going to happen fast. And that is what I got. Good luck.